Hello everyone and welcome back to The Rock. I'm Pierre Banks. Today marks the ninth day of fall camp for the Appalachian State Mountaineers and the first in our series examining each position on the 2017 roster for the black and gold. Today's look goes to the quarterbacks. The Mountaineers return a four-year starter and a young man that currently sits at second on the list of all-time career wins amongst active quarterbacks in Taylor Lamb and a whole host of talented quarterbacks behind him vying for positions on the depth chart and making each other better each and every day. One of the things that Taylor has definitely done in the, throughout the years is he's been a student of the game. Uh, he continues to study film and, 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 and really understands what we're doing offensively. He understands what the defense is trying to do to him. And um, I always say, you know, he's always got to be a step ahead, and he's been able to do that. Uh, you know, he's gotten stronger. He's throwing the ball a lot stronger down the field, so we're happy with him now going into his senior year campaign. Uh, you know, and one thing about him, he definitely wants to repeat us as champion and go back to a bowl game and win that as well. So he's doing all the things that he needs to do that he's been doing at this, uh, to this point and continue to improve on those things. Throughout his four years, he's helped me understand the game and then progressions-wise out here on the field, you know, hard on me at first, you know, the first two years, and then I caught on uh, pretty, pretty well there. And then uh, this year, you know, just guided me in the right direction. Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, Zach Thomas and Jacob Hughes are very talented young men. Uh, they're both um, big kids. They can throw the ball down the field extremely well. Uh, they have a very smart IQ at quarterback. Uh, you know, they, they, they really understand everything. And in a short period of time that they've been here, they've really have grasped offense and really understand what we're trying to do and who we're trying to get the ball to. Uh, we're very happy with both of them. Uh, we definitely can win football games with either one. Zach right now is at number two, kind of a little bit of edge from this past week, protecting the ball a little bit better than Jacob. But they're both coming along real well. Uh, and like I said, you know, they, they understand the offense, and you know, we're happy with both of them. Coach Ponce preaches that you know you just got to be you got to be mentally tough out there. You got to make the right reads. You got to make the right throws. You got to make the right decisions. And that's what it's going to come down to between me and Jacob fighting for second is whoever comes out on top with best decisions and best you know playmaking ability to make the best throws and the least amount of mistakes and MAs and turnovers. I think the only thing you can do as a quarterback uh, when you're when you're looking at the position that me and Zach are both in backup role, you're trying to win that spot. The only thing you can really do is control the things you can control. I can't I can't control anything Zach does. I can't control anything Taylor does. Uh, just take it one day at a time, one play at a time really. Uh, if you get ahead of yourself, that's when your head will start spinning and you know you'll make a mistake or you won't see the right thing. So I think it's just a matter of uh, handling what you can handle and uh, taking care of each play as best of your ability. The Mountaineers find themselves fortunate to return a four-year starter under center for the 2017 campaign, but the future certainly looks bright. Please join us for the remainder of our Precision Breakdown series and all of our coverage of fall camp on AppStateSports.com. For App Vision, I'm Pierre Banks.